WXPT Delta Weather. What's in store for us? A lot's in store. However, it's still remaining quite cool for this time of year. We're about seven to eight degrees below normal. And eventually, people say, what's up with global warming? Well, there is no global warming. It feels like global <laughs> cooling lately. Let's take a look what's going on in the world of weather. First of all, student weather stations. Take a look at the graphic. If you like myself or any one of our meteorologists to come to your new station, um, your new station, what are you talking about? Come to your school, I'm saying. Uh, log on. Email sdryerwxvt.com or you can go to wxvt.com and make sure you do check out the links appropriately for yourself or your students. Or if you're a teacher, we do have a whole study guide to talk about. Currently at Delta Reach, the 34 degrees dew point at 30. We do have a light southeasterly breeze at 5 miles per hour. And the barometric pressure is holding steady at 30.05 inches of mercury. All men today actually got up to 47. This morning was 24. Nothing in our bucket records were 1943, 1970. It was 79 and 11. And just over three and a third inches of rain actually fell in the state way back when. Laser line Doppler radar, we have nothing to talk about. Just a few blips way up here in the upper left hand corner of your screen. That's definitely going to be working a little overtime as more showers begin to develop over the next day or two or even three days. And we're not talking about some clearing maybe until the middle of next week. Temperatures across the country, not too bad here in South Florida, Texas, but if you look way up into the Midwest, minus one in Minneapolis, nine below in Pierre and six in Chicago, even cold in New England, 15 in Buffalo, 20 in Boston. And when you factor in the winds, it feels like 26 degrees below zero in Pierre. It feels like 20 in Denver, minus one in Omaha and three in Buffalo. And let's take a little closer look at actually the Northeast and Midwest. It feels like three degrees in Buffalo, like I said, 10 in Philly, 14 in Baltimore, and it feels like eight. So tomorrow at the AFC title game between the Jets and the Steelers, it's going to be a very, very cold day. And if you're heading out to the Midwest, any relatives, feels like five below in Des Moines, one below in Omaha, 14 in Kansas City, and 27 in Springfield, Missouri. So it's very, very cold out there. It's the coldest air mass of the season affecting the upper two thirds of the country. Like I said, here's our storm system just to the north of us. That's actually going to stay to the north. However, we do have another system right behind it, and these are going to bring some showers into our area and make sure the clouds will definitely stick around for the next two to three days. Let's take a little closer look at our area. We're over here at the WXVT logo. We do have some showers over here in Oklahoma, and that's going to develop even further as time goes by. So if we're planning our day for the next couple days, currently across the Tri-State, 34 here in the Port City, 30 in the capital city, Jackson. A pair of 29s between Greenwood and Tupelo. And up in Memphis, it is 34 degrees. So what's the temperature is gonna look like overnight? And basically, it's gonna look like this. Starting off at 11 o'clock, 34 degrees through most of our area, dropping into the upper 20s by say seven o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're planning a day, Topping off in the low 50s, 52 in Belzona, 53 down in Yazoo City, and 50 in Greenwood. And the temperatures will drop throughout the entire afternoon with a chance of rain showers coming in late in the evening. I wouldn't be surprised to see an early spotted shower or sprinkle basically pass on through the early afternoon. So for the next seven days, what do we got going on for, for our area? Temperatures are not too, too bad, still below normal in the low 50s, uh, falling into the upper 40s during the middle of the week and clearing skies for Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So as of now, Kaylin, next weekend actually looks to be pretty good, dry and actually warmer than it has been over the few weeks, getting close to what temperatures should be for this time of year. All right, we'll go with that. That's not too bad. At yep. least it's warming up. Warming up is a good thing and the rain should be getting out of the picture, I would say by Tuesday evening, early Wednesday morning with clearing and we'll see that sun far off than we have been lately. All right. Thanks a lot, Steve. You're welcome. Well, coming up in sports on